Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about a function that checks whether other function exists or not. A lot of people do get confused about why a function exists a uh, function is needed because if you're calling a function, definitely it should be available. Well, that's the assumption, but most of the times uh, this assumption can lead into really nasty errors. So let me take you an example. I have this file called as the function exist which checks for the function so if i have a function called as function my underscore function what it does is very simple it echoes hello world now if i call this function all it will do is it will echo out the hello world let's check it out so as you can see when I run this file hello world has been echoed out the reason it was uh, possible because there's a function already in this uh, file but what if this function lied outside this file for example write in another file so let us create another file a new PHP file and save it as some kind of config or let's call it functions.php Now I'll take this functions from here and copy it here. I will not do an include, I'll just run this. So I guess you must be aware what is going to happen. PHP will throw up an error saying that my function is not available. Let us just run this. So as you can see, it has been give, giving me a fatal error call to the function undefined function my underscore function. The problem is now very obvious that we have called this function without uh, including this other file so you can say to me that why don't you include the other file and just let it go I'm fine require underscore once and I say functions.php now it will work again So the problem that is here is that what if this functions.php is another module which may or may not be present uh, inside the project. Let us say if you're working on a WordPress project and you've been included a plugin which has this kind of function and you have used this function anywhere in your theme and uh, at one point in time you have deleted the file or the module and which has caused the deletion of this function the calling of this function then will result in a in an error which you will have to debug so if you have this uh, included in some other file that you know might be uh, deleted for example in a plugin later on then all you need to do is if function exists give the name then call my function so what it does is that it first goes and checks out the functions.php uh, and includes all the functions and if the my function has been included and if it exists in that then the my function will be called otherwise the flow would be moving on to another set of so this will prevent this kind of a fatal error that we just saw so if I just uh, change this name of my function to let's say my own function so my function doesn't exist anymore I save this and I run this I will not see an error because the function exist is now uh, going to give me a false value let us run this out and as you can see blank nothing has been outputted so I have checked for the function underscore exits uh, exists and then uh, inside that I have run that function so if you want to do multiple uh, things you can just put a curly brace and put this my underscore function inside this and you can give it a check the purpose is very simple if you've got external modules for example plugins in wordpress or any other system which can be deleted because they are creating any problems and you use the function from those modules inside this uh, any other program of yours then you should always wrap it up with uh, function underscore exists exists that 
we'll make sure that this function is already included inside so when you call a function that is supposed to be inside any other external module which can be deleted and which does not directly impact the uh, main module you should always wrap this function inside function underscore exists so that before calling this function this function is checked whether it exists and it doesn't produce uh, the fatal error that we have seen so that is the primary purpose of finding out the function exists I hope it is clear for you another reason I use this function exists and all plugin developers should probably uh, use it if they are not using their own namespace is that a module can be included twice inside a function for example if you have a WordPress plugin and it includes uh, two plugins which uses two different libraries then the function would exist twice and the problem with that is that uh, if you for example if I create another file let's say and call it functions underscore one basically they are both the same I'll just copy it from here to this place and if I want to call my underscore own underscore function and I include both these files by mistake or by uh, they are included by my plugins that have been installed by me and they're using some kind of library and they both use the same module without knowing that the other module has already included that function then let us see what will happen here if I save this and if I run this so as you can see cannot re-declare my own function so basically if my own function was common across uh, the same modules then we have a big problem here so if you're writing a plugin it's always better to either give it a separate namespace or you first check whether this function is called even if you give it a separate namespace better idea to uh, give it a uh, check it using function underscore exist so that if somebody else has included that file you don't have the problem of uh, including it twice like this and let us put a not here so if not function exists my own function then declare my function let's check it out whether we get an error again so we get a different kind of error so this can be resolved by doing following all you need to do is open a curly brace and put this function inside the block format it a little bit and then copy the same code right here in the other file now hopefully the error should be gone from here so as you can see the error is gone and we can safely call my underscore function own function right now so as you can see my own function has been called inside two different files maybe these are the same files that may be included by the wordpress plugins and function underscore exist is so much necessary because uh, this uh, common function libraries can create an error and hence when we uh, run any functions from those files we should always do a function exists and the name of the function then call that my own function just to be on the safe side so if you run this file now there is absolutely no error and the file uh, and the contents have been printed perfectly I hope you like and understand the meaning of function underscore exists 
uh, please like and subscribe my video thanks for watching